We've decided to do our own dig for victory kind of a menu, so we're going to be doing two dishes, a sweet and a savoury course. Because we've got cream. We've got cream, so <laughs> it needs to have a dessert. That's going to use local produce and kind of trying to replicate a meal of the time. I've got a really nice little story about spuds. Have you heard of potato peat? He was a sort of propaganda bloke, wasn't he? Yeah, he was like a big potato with a funny hat, and he used to do nursery rhymes to try and convince people to buy and produce and make their own potatoes in the back garden because it was a great source of carbs. So potatoes new, potatoes old, potatoes in a salad cold. Potatoes baked or mashed or fried, potatoes whole, potatoes pied. Enjoy them all, including chips, remembering spuds don't come in ships. And that whole idea of not importing potatoes because they yeah. grow so well here. I'm making chips. I'm also, for the... Uh, main course going to do spam fritters. God, I haven't had that for probably 30 years. Really? Spam is processed pork and ham. It was first produced in the USA and became popular in Britain during the war. It wasn't rationed, but it was limited by points, so still a bit of a rare treat. This is a very simple beer batter, so I've just got plain flour, pinch of salt, beer, made in England, and beer. They wouldn't have been short of this in the war. Uh, it's kind of a vital thing to keep the troops going, uh, both at home and out on the field, so decent glug of that. Whisk it together, and I'm going to just dip dusted in flour slices of Spam in it and then deep fry them. Have you ever heard that before? Spam fritters? I think uh, once, but that's very, very... <laughs> but you see, the batter would be your carbohydrate for your meal. Yeah, a lot of flour in there. Yeah, it's good for you. Oh, look at that. OK, beer. straight into the hot oil. The potatoes have now uh, parboiled. So they're nice and ready just to be dusted in a bit of flour and then fried in with the spam fritters. It's going to end up with one big mass. The fritters are on us there, aren't they? Yeah. Look at that. You can just tell how good that is for you. Right. We should have done this dripping, shouldn't we? Thank you, son. Pleasure. Spam fritters. Bon appétit. God. Mmm. I know it's so wrong, but I could kind of see how a food like that in the olden days would have seduced people to, like, process meat and things. OK, you've got a tin in the cupboard, you've got to stretch it. One tin of Spam will give a family of four a meal yeah. with a little bit of batter and some spuds from the garden. Children, always have your greens as well. Don't yeah. copy Dick and James. Mm -hmm. And we've still got enough rations left for pancakes as well. Four inches of flour, one egg right in the middle of it. A lovely egg from the chickens over there. Of course, you can always have chickens at home. Now I'm going to dilute this up with a mixture of water and milk. A little bit of marge in the pan and in goes my batter. It'll take just a couple of minutes to cook. Oh, it looks good, doesn't it? Half a teaspoon of jam. No, I'm going to ration you on that, but it'll be a treat because you don't get sweets. There's no sweeties in the yes, Second World War, mate. Well. Look at that. Oops, oops, we need to flick it open. That's yours now? That's mine. Yeah. Am I allowed the cream in it before I roll it up, or do I have to roll you it up? You could do, I suppose. Look at that. That That's is nothing. pouring cream. Pancakes, jam and homemade cream. Doesn't feel like wartime austerity to me. I can't believe it actually worked. Well, I'm quite I'm looking forward to mine. Come on, cook. Mm. Mine's nearly ready. Spreading my jam, and I'm going to pour my cream, my luxurious cream, over it. Wow. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? It's good. Mm -hmm. 